in style. He'll find more fun in this thing than a barrel of monkeys. I mean, he'll have, he'll have <laughs> fun with it. Let's listen to more of Dave Bunker and his touch guitar. for the electric guitar. Ideas pop into his head constantly, new ones. Uh, maybe sometimes right in the middle of a, of a great idea, another great idea will come in and make that first idea a lot better. Dave's most recent invention uses microchip technology to mute unplayed strings. It's a reverse of an electric guitar. It's actually off at all times instead of on. It's a reverse concept. So Dave is resurrecting his touch guitar revolution. I actually believe that the touch guitar and that technology uh, will lead the way in the future. It's a touch of the future that already has them on their feet in Burien. Thank you so much. One day, Dave's guitar will be here at the EMP. They're going to have a collection of Northwest instruments, and uh, you also have something in common with Dave's guitar, because one day you will also be here at the EMP. In fact, let's send you here right now. Give us a call. What I'm actually going to show here is the first Pro Star. This went into a more sophisticated guitar like this that I built for Ann Wilson of Heart, and then the bass Pro Star, which I always felt was a wonderful instrument. The Galaxy and the Astroline was a plank stick type body that you could actually put different wings on and that's what I'm showing here a beautiful walnut one showing the fine tuners and some of the patents which actually resulted from some of these early inventions I had to go to individual bridges as you notice here that actually fit on the back of the guitar and a fine tuning system in front of that so that you could actually reverse the strings with the patented tension free neck which you see here and the wishbone bridge the wishbone bridge was really nice used in an arch top electric where I actually was the first to carve hollow body guitars where I actually used one block of wood. This was the bat guitar basically uh, designed after the ES335 and a big body jazz type guitar which utilized the wishbone bridge. In the 90s, early 90s, I built a line of guitars for Ibanez. I actually built the United States USRG guitar and the attack bass. This bass here, the attack bass actually won the uh, bass of the year in 1994. Another guitar which I really love to build was this big V uh, that I built with 99 pearl dots and a special bridge system. Another guitar which I built in the 90s. I actually started the design of what was called the gourd guitar. And I had the idea that I would carve a complete back out of solid wood and then I would put a top on using the wishbone type of a bridge structure which would mean that you would not need any bracing on the guitar on top. This worked out ex excellently well. Another line of guitars which I built in the late 90s and actually finished in the early 2000 about three was the MVP where I actually pocketed the guitar up in the neck cavity and also around the horns in such a way so that not only did it balance the guitar but it gave a great jazz tone at the neck while still maintaining a nice crunchy rock and roll sound at the bridge. The bunker basses took on their own character. Actually, I invented the individual bridge which separated the strings so that you didn't get crosstalk between strings as you do on many basses. This led to many new things like reverse tuning, fine tuning, and also coarse tuning which could be used with regular tuning systems if you wanted, giving it easy to play, easy to tune bass.
Here you're looking at a wonderfully spalded base, which I built, which actually was a 36 inch scale and was pocketed and had special electronics and a special, as you can see, wood covered fiddle back pickup. Just a lot of neat innovations with kind of a flared, uh, sculptured neck end on it. Thank you all for listening. Here's a picture of my first band that I played in Vegas with for 10 years at the Golden Nugget and some other of their nicer clubs in Las Vegas. Is, notice the guitars in this picture. They were some of the first guitars I ever built. And don't forget, buy a bunker.